Faith Time is our weekly conversation on matters of faith. And joining us this morning is Blake Newsom with Dauphin Way Baptist Church in Mobile. With Thanksgiving behind us, people are looking ahead to Christmas. His church, starting this coming weekend, not this weekend, but the following weekend, has a unique way to mark the season, Miracle on Dauphin Street. First question is, what's going on there? Uh, we've all faced COVID together and, and other issues for that matter. And we at Dolphin Way Baptist Church, we want to provide the surrounding area with an opportunity to get out and enjoy the season. So December 4th through the 13th, we're going to bring ice skating to Mobile, uh, and we're going to have it in our parking lot. The skating will be open to everyone, and it will be $5 per person. We'll also have hay rides and food and seasonal snacks. We're going to have Christmas movies and a, a market with local vendors to do some of the Christmas shopping that you might have. Uh, we'll also have local musical groups and school bands also on select nights. So everyone is invited, uh, and all the prices, are they're going to be reasonable for families. This gives us a great chance to talk about the season. And we talk about the Christmas season, the secularization of Christmas as harmful. I want to put a pin in that for just a moment. But let's talk about in some ways that how it's beneficial to Christianity that secular interests recognize this important holiday. Yeah, Chad, Christmas is my favorite time of the year uh, because it's a time when the message of Jesus is really woven throughout the cultural ethos. Uh, it's a time when concepts central to the Christian faith, concepts like love, joy, peace, hope, and they're widespread. Uh, and it's a time when you can go in almost any public space and hear music and even messages celebrating Jesus. It's a time when people are reminded of the value of giving over receiving. So Jesus is, is widespread during the Christmas season. So how does one keep Christ in Christmas, as it were? Yeah, well, this is more than a, a bumper sticker slogan for us, right? Christmas is the celebration of Jesus coming into a world filled with sin and the residual effects of brokenness and disease, and death and heartache. Jesus split time and came offering an opportunity for peace, hope, love, and joy to people in desperate need of forgiveness of sins and new life. And I think it's crucial during the Christmas season to spend time reflecting on questions like, who is Jesus? Why did he come? And what impact does his coming have in my life? The more we focus on Jesus, the better our Christmas season will be. Now, how is the secularization of Christmas, how could it potentially be harmful? Yeah, I think Christmas is one example of the increasing secularization of really all aspects of society. The effect of secularization is that it, it sort of crowds out those necessary moments of reflection on the most important issues of life, such as meaning and purpose, which are issues we must consider for human flourishing. And in an age of distraction, we must fight to ensure that we are considering the meaning and the purpose of life, and also the meaningfulness of the coming of Jesus. How do you think families can like pause in this season to reflect on some of those important things you mentioned? What are activities families can do to really put that focus in their lives? Yeah, well, I think the most important is worship, and I would encourage families. When you think about worship, we often think of it as going to a building with other believers, uh, and we call that building a church, right? But you can worship Jesus as a family, in your home, in your living room, sing songs together, read the Christmas story, read Luke chapter 2, and just think about Jesus, worship Jesus, reflect on who he is and what he's done for us. And that's Blake Newsom with Dauphin Way Baptist Church. Their miracle on Dauphin Street starts next weekend. And we'll have more information on that in the Faith Time section of our website. It's up now at WKRG.com. We thank you for joining us for this edition.